go. It is such an outstanding house. Not many of these houses you would walk through and right in the middle would be a baby grand piano. It's amazing. You're an entertainer. You're a singer songwriter. You're a comedian. You're a cook. Is there anything that you don't do? Yes, Mark, I don't sell real estate and that's what I've got you here. But mate, yes, I do do a lot of things, but you'll see that all my hobbies and everything that I love doing, you'll see that throughout the house. Like when we get to the kitchen, you'll know why I love cooking and why I cook even more now. Where did you find the inspiration for this particular part of the home? Well, Mark, when, um, when it came to, to designing uh, the home, how do you marry a late 1800 Victorian part of the house to an ultra modern renovation. So what I decided to do here was make like a New York loft feel. So kind of married that, married the two in between those two. So it actually has three different periods here. You've got the old, the you know, the middle and, and, and the brand new. So what we've done is we've put in beams here that shouldn't be here. Uh, a, that are structural, but also they're exposed beams and exposed brick and high walls here where you see behind me with all the library to resemble a huge New York loft. Uh, and that's, that's the, that was the way that I felt that I could marry the old and the new. And Joe, can I ask, the stage lighting, why is that? Well, we needed something in here to fill that space. And I live under the spotlight. And, and what, better, what better thing to put up there? I mean, I just found it and I thought this is just perfect. And Joe, can, can I have a better understanding of how did you come up with the showcasing of your artwork? Well, believe it or not, Mark, the home, like I, I, I did have a collection of artwork, but not like I have now. The high walls, the big walls, allowed me to go bigger. As you can see, there's rabbits behind me. That, that's a big piece of art right there. The home actually inspired me to extend my art collection because of the long wall, because of the high walls. You know, and, and it just looks well. In fact, um, we've installed art railing so you can hang your pieces of art properly without damaging the walls. So I thank the home for that. I thank the home for allowing me to extend my art collection. Joe, having experienced one or two dinner parties here and at Christmas, can you explain to me again and to everyone else just what you've put into this kitchen? Mark, this is the ultra modern part of the house. So we wanted everything to be clean lined. So everything is tucked away. Um, and because it's modern, we wanted the kitchen to be modern. There's a lot of functionality to the kitchen as well. I mean, you know, this, you can sort of put that down put a bit of Decton on top of this, you know, and you've got one island bench. You know, you've got, you know, say if you want power, you can do that. You can get, you hide that away. This is Decton. Decton is an extremely durable product. You can get anything from the oven, or anything from the cooktop and put it straight on here. It will not crack. You can scratch this with a, with a key. The key will wear away if you keep on going. Now, let's get to the nuts and bolts of this kitchen. This kitchen is an arc linear kitchen, right? Arc Linear have only now combined with Vizug appliances. I've had these for the last four years and they're absolutely amazing, Vizug. All the cooking appliances are Vizug in here. But everything is supposed to be hidden away, but there's a lot of functionality. Hidden away, and all you do is just touch, Mark. Everything here, the whole kitchen is just touch, right? Even the lighting systems. Joe, you spoke about the Vizug. Tell us about this setup, this looks Immaculate, it looks spectacular. These look, ovens are amazing, Mark. Um, these are also designed so that they streamline. So you can't see a handle here, very simply push the button, out it comes, away we go, right? They're both steam ovens and you can also use them as a conventional oven. These, I mean, these ovens, you, you could put a frozen pastry in here with gelato in the middle. It will steam it so that the pastry, the phyllo, is golden brown, but the ice cream is still frozen when you serve it. That's the kind of stuff that these things do. And of course, Mark, no kitchen will be complete without a full length wine fridge. 
But speaking of wine, let's probably head to the bar. And Mark, this is one room I'm really going to miss at this house. Wait till you see this. Come down, Mark. So, Joe, there's a story that you actually bought this place you didn't even realise that it had a cellar. I had absolutely no idea. The floorboards were carpeted and I had, the builder rings me up. I'd gone out to get some something for the house. The builder rings me up and goes, you've got to get back here immediately. They lifted the carpet up. There was a small trap door. They opened up the trap door just to see what was here. And I don't know, it was just a vacant, it was just all dug out, vacant under here. It was like, what? Mark, as you know, security is very big for me. So the whole house uh, is monitored on the outside by numerous CCTV cameras. Um, just for that extra layer of security, this is into the main bedroom. I've installed a uh, code to get in here. So let's go. Where did you, uh, where'd you come up with the idea for this room? Well, as you know, Mark, I live in hotel rooms. I mean, pre-COVID, I'm every week or every second week, definitely, I'm in a hotel room. And I've been lucky enough to be in nice hotel rooms all over the world. I like six-star hotel rooms. So the whole bedroom wing of the home, the master suite, was designed around a six-star hotel room. We've got taps in here, we've got, um, we've got fridges. You name it, we've got it. You know, you can stay in this room for a while. Now, the thing is that sometimes people go, well, you've got a really black room. No problem. If you don't like it, it's just wallpaper. Take it off and paint it white, paint it whatever you want. Mark, this is one of the rooms that I'm going to miss the most. It's probably the smallest room, and that is my full marble steam shell. I come in here, I zen out. It's got a speaker. I listen to my music and just, I mean, I could be anywhere when I'm in here. Joe, I've had the pleasure of seeing you in action at one of your shows. And you talk about having 300 or over 300 pairs of shoes. We just thought it was part of the act. And then I saw this. Yeah, no, nah, Mark, I am a comedian, but not all the time. Yes, this is a purpose-built shoe room and obviously walk-in uh, robe. Uh, and this is probably the room that I lose the most friends over. Because my friends come here, their partners walk in, they see this, they have to have a closet like this. It is a sauna, Mark. You, you do sell houses for a living, don't you? <laughs>